Hi, and welcome to another Three String Cigar Box Guitar Lesson. Uh, I'm Sean from Code Guitar, and today we're looking at a uh, sort of Delta Blues classic by uh, Mississippi John Hurt uh, called You Gotta Move. So, um, the original was on six strings, he's played it on a normal guitar, and uh, I think it's tuned to open D, um, but we can uh, just sort of change the notes and go for our standard sort of op open G tuning on a three string, and because it's a re relatively simple um, tune, it's um, just, a, we can pretty much play the tune on uh, one string, uh, with a little bit on the middle string as well, and then just a sort of bass accompaniment on the low string, it works quite well for three string skull box guitar. So just before we get stuck into the song, let's just make sure we're in tune. Uh, we're just using the standard G, D, and G. As, as always, just keeping it fairly uh, simple, fairly consistent. So um, what I'm going to do to start with, I'm just going to uh, play the actual tune itself. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll go through the, the notes. Um, it's all slide, entirely played uh, with a slide, um, apart from the sort of bass accompaniment and uh, just a couple of picked open strings. Um, so if you're not that familiar with playing slides, uh, please check out our um, video on the channel, the YouTube channel, which is just looking at a uh, basic slide technique. Uh, it's just looking at how you uh, get a decent tone, a bit of... Bit of vibrato, um, things like that. So I'm, I'm not really going to cover that too much. Just just a few pointers for this specific song. So if there's anything you're not sure about, uh, you can brush up watching that video first. Um, so yeah, we're going to look at playing the the tune first, um, which we're going to pluck with our fingers. Um, and then we'll add in the bass afterwards because there's some slightly tricky sort of rhythmical interplay. So we'll we'll, we'll just break it down to start with. Um, it's also got a slightly funny um, cycle. Um, all the blues we've looked at up to this point is uh, 12 bars, but uh, this particular one actually only lasts for um, five bars, uh, which sounds quite odd, but it works really well for this tune. So um, what we're going to do is uh, break it up into little vocal phrases. Um, so the first one would be open high G, slide into fret four, and slide into fret 5. Okay, uh, so what I'm doing is I'm, uh, I'm actually like plucking from fret 2 and um, I'm just sliding up to fret 4 but not, not re-picking it so it's pick, slide and then I'll pick from fret 4 and slide up to fret 7. I'll just do that from a different angle, just so you can see what I'm doing here. Let me pick finger. Okay. Um, now the the next series of notes, uh, we're up on fret seven, and we drop down to four again. So I'm going to pick fret seven and drop back down to four. And um, and again, not picking when I arrive at four, but I am going to pick the open string, the open high G afterwards. So that those notes are um, a little bit faster, that sequence. I'll, I'll, I'll cover the, the, the rhythm, rhythmical aspect of it uh, after we've got the sequence of notes. And then after the open G, we slide back up. And again, I'll probably start on fret two and just go back to fret four. Uh, there aren't actually that many notes in this tune. It's, um, it's quite repetitive, but again, it sounds really effective. Um, so all of that is, um, I would say, probably like the sort of first first vocal line. Um, what what the slide's actually doing is it's 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 copying, it's mimicking um, uh, the the vocal melody, uh, the the rhythm and the notes. Um, so if you sort of think of it in like vocal phrases, it'd be quite good to learn, easier to learn that way. So all of that was open, slide into four, and slide up to seven. Pluck fret 7 again, and then the second time slide down, and then slide back up to 4. So we've got open, 4, 7, 7 again, and then slide to 4, open, slide back to 4, and each time I'm starting at 2. Okay, so that's the first um, 
slide part. So I'll, I'll just do that from one more angle so you can see what I'm actually doing with my um, sliders because I'm only playing on the top string, I'm actually angling it back a little bit. Not not too much so that I catch the, um, the frets though. Just find, find somewhere which works on your particular guitar. So open four, seven, pluck seven again. Slide to four, open, and back into four. Right. And then um, we're going to go back up to seven, and I'm going to pluck it three times. And then I'm going to slide down to five. So it's Basically on the fourth um, time you pluck fret seven, you then slide to five afterwards. So one, two, three, four. And then keep plucking that fret five another three times. So seven, slide. And then slide back up to... Um, Seven. So it's very, very simple um, melody. Like I said, the complexity comes like rhythmically when you start adding your thumb in. Um, so I'll just do that one more time. So it's seven, slide, five, back up, and then th this time when I've I've gone back up to seven, I'm gonna I'm gonna repick it um, just to add a little bit more attack to the to the note. Um, and then just to finish off that second um, sort of vocal phrase, it would be another slide into four. I'll go from two again, fret two. And then just to finish off, we've got the first note that we're going to play with the slide on the middle string. So that's sliding from uh, three up to five. So all of that second phrase would be like this, seven, slide, five, up, and then slide into four, and then slide from three to five on the middle string. So uh, another thing, um, on, on that very last bit there, when I'm, I'm sliding up to four, and then from three to five on the middle string, uh, what I'm doing is uh, I'm, I'm actually trying to stop this note ringing. So as soon as I've arrived at four and I want to um, go to the next string, I might actually just stop it here with my, with my middle finger and then I'll, I'll just slide up on the middle string. So it's pick, just stay like this. Pick, stop. I use my index finger on the middle string. Uh, it might seem a little bit weird that, but um, if I don't do that, it almost sounds like I've changed chord. You see, uh, which isn't a, it, you know, it sounds quite nice that, but it's not quite right for this song. Uh, we, we don't, we, we don't want to make it sound like we're going to uh, what we call a C chord. Um, which is when you cover all of the um, strings on fret five. We, we, we don't want to make it sound like it's going to, to, to a C chord at that point. It definitely needs to stay on um, G. Um, it's a very sparse delta blues sound, this, so there's, there's hardly any um, chord change in it, um, chord changes. So, middle finger, mute, index finger. And another thing I'm doing, if you can see this, is uh, it talks about the angle here on the top string. You can sort of angle the other way so that you you, you try not you try not to catch string one underneath. So top string, middle string. That's 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 quite a handy thing to get into. Um, so just one more time on that that second phrase. So it's slide five. Back up, four, slide into five on the middle string. And then uh, what we've got is we've got a couple of open um, strings just after that. 
so it's like um, I G middle D, and then a quick. So we, we can kind of hear fret two this time. So it's open two three, and then let that ring out for a bit. Fret two again, and then uh, back to the middle string. So I might angle, angle over again, and I'll I'll slide down to the open. So I'll um, at some point uh, probably again. Over fret two, it just sounds a bit nicer with with, with these uh, particular series of notes. So I'll finish the slide down and then just pluck the open string. So I'll I'll do that again. So we've got a couple of open strings, and then we've got a quick open two three on the top string, and then just fret two on its own on the top string, and then change the angle, slide down uh, on the middle string, four to open, and then just to finish off, uh, we'll play an open G, and then we'll play fret five on the middle string, which is actually another G, you can hear that. Uh, and then we quickly step down to fret three on the middle string, and slide back up. So that's open, slide on five, middle D, and then slide back up to five from three. And again, that's that's um, possibly the most sort of fiddly bit with the slide because if you, if you haven't quite got the angle right, it can sound a little bit messy catching this this top string. So. Um, Um, so I'll just, dead slowly, just the melody, I'll piece all of that together. So... So, bit of a gap, then... Then, seven, slide to five, back, up, three, Okay, and then we've got, and then just fret two, and then open, okay, so um, like I said, it's basically uh, the, the melody line, the, the vocal melody, you're sort of doubling it up on the, the higher notes on the guitar on the, the original recording. Um, so. I'll, I'll talk about the rhythm in a moment, but basically the easiest way to, to try and um, play things correctly and, and play it with the right phrase in the right rhythmical timing is, is to, to literally listen and copy. Um, so because it's a vocal melody, it's actually easier than some things to sort of get it to stick in your head. Uh, so if, if you can, uh, I mean, you don't have to learn the words or anything, but if, if, you, if you can basically hear the tune that he's singing, if you hum along with that, uh, then you, you just apply that to this sequence of notes uh, and that is often the easiest way to, to just get a sort of flow to the rhythm. Um, however, if you either find that difficult or you uh, want to know a little bit more about what's happening with the rhythm, um, it's actually what we call a swung rhythm. So. Um, there's another video uh, which we did a while ago, which is looking at the difference between straight and swung rhythms. Uh, sort of goes into um, all of that in a bit more detail. Also, like a 12-bar blues structure. So, like I said, this one only lasts for five bars, um, which sounds quite odd because um, things don't often last for five bars, but works really well for this particular tune because it's quite a sort of slow plodding rhythm. Uh, five bars last for long enough. That's that's okay. Um, but <clears throat> quick recap. Here's the beat, so a straight rhythm, the, um, what we call the off beats, I'm just doing this on muted strings here, uh, uh, exactly halfway in between the beat, the, 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 the down beats, so I'm, I'm doing up strokes here for the off beats, okay? Um, 
with a swung rhythm, the the the, the down is longer and the short uh, the up is shorter. So it would be like this. It almost feels a bit slower. It feels more lazy, more relaxed. So it's like long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Okay, and so all of this uh, tune is is played with a swung uh, groove, like a, sometimes people call it a blues shuffle. Okay, um, and and what um, that actually is is if if we were to play even notes, we would actually have three of them in um, in a beat. So long, short, long, short, one, two, three, one, two, three, long, short, long, short, one. You probably hear that that's got the same sort of rhythmical feel to it. So that's called a, a triplet rhythm, okay? Uh, and there's there's a few places where um, the melody plays faster notes, and they're actually uh, we can uh, think of them as being triplets. Uh, so we, we we fit three notes quickly into into one beat, uh, but all of the other notes are um, just the standard long, short, long, short, uh, which is our swung. Um, groove our swung rhythm and and so it's a question of just um, thinking about whether the notes start off or on whether they start as a short or a long note um, and most of them actually start off off the beat as it's called um, so for example right at the beginning uh, I would count to three and then I'd start sort of afterwards um, so it'd be like this one two Three and four and and four and so it's like one, two, three and four and two, three and four and so straight away that next part we've got a triplet there we've got faster notes starts off the beat and. So that combination of the seven sliding down to the four in the open, that's one, two, three. One, two, three, straight back in. And four and one. So that's on beat one. A lot of the time we're kind of counting to three and we're coming in after three. Two, three, and four, and the next part, sort of kept following on from all of these fret seven notes, uh, we are one and two and three and four, and we're we're, we're basically playing um, filling the entire bar like four four beats in a bar. Uh, we're filling the entire bar with um, half beat notes, the long, short, long, short groove. So it's um, from the what you call the pickup, the fret seven notes. It's uh, two, three, and four, and long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Okay. Um, so after that, slide in on the uh, third, the middle string, the open D. Um, play two opens and they come in on like three and four and we've got another triplet there um, so after the opens it's um, one two three and triplet and then this next note on fret two this this comes in uh, on uh, the, the fourth beat so I'll, um, I'll I'll go from um, the open notes. So I'll go one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. Just on the beat one, and, and that that can be a triplet as well. One, two, three, and then another triplet and. So that comes in on beat four as well. So I'll go from the open notes before. Okay, so on, on beat three, so it's one, two, three.
three and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. And that's it. That's that's the end of the cycle. Okay. Um, so let's just I'll, I'll I'll play that one more time and um, see, see if you can just that rhythm uh, that melody sorry see if you can play that in time with me um, before we add the bass note in so bass notes so one two three So the bass is just on the beat, and so because we've just thought a little bit about which um, melody notes are on the beat and off the beat, uh, that will show us um, which ones match up with the bass note, bass notes. So um, I've said that a pull is when you play um, with your thumb and your fingers together at the same time. So we've got quite a few pulls where the the, the melody notes with your fingers match up with the thumb. Uh, now again, uh, earlier videos um, looking at more sort of basic technique. There's there's a really good one just with for basic open um, string sort of finger style playing. Um, because if uh, if you've not got that much experience of separating your thumb out and your fingers rhythmically, you might find this quite tricky. So uh, check out that video on our channel. Um, it's also talking a little bit about palm muting. Uh, often it's quite it's quite good to to mute the uh, the, the low string. The, the low G, just so you get a bit of a separation in the sound between uh, what your melody and what your bass is doing. So I'm, I'm palm muting here. But again, um, check, check out that video for more, more info on that. Um, but putting them both together, uh, we're, it's actually a little pickup. That's all just melody on its own. But because it goes and four and one, we arrive on what we call the off beat, so immediately afterwards I'm bang straight in with a thumb on the beat. And four and one, two, three, and four and so that um, se second part of the first phrase, um, finger on its own, pull slide straight away open string the next pull is fret 2 sliding up to fret 4 so I'll do that first phrase again so it's like 1 2 3 and 4 and thumb 2 3 and four, and one, two, three, same place, and four, and, but this time, we, we, we start picking in the same place, but this time we just play the three notes on fret seven, so one, two, three, and four, and slide on the pull, 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 slide, Sliding up to fret four, and then, and then basically when we arrive, that that slide in the middle string when we arrive on fret five there, I'm I'm, I'm going to do another um, thumb because that's that's arriving like on the beat of uh, the next bar, the next lot of four four beats. So so that's one, two, another pull open string this time. So that's beat three, and then. So I'm, I'm personally using my middle finger on uh, the top string and then index on the middle D. Another pull. Now that's a triplet. So pull on the open, not on uh, 
not not and you, you, the bass comes in just after those three notes like that so one two open string beat three then beat four and then bass carries on it's quite easy just beat four together and then beat one uh, this is on the middle string, that's a pull as well, and it's also a triplet, so it's so one, one bass at the beginning, and then just after that open D, I'll do another bass. And then the final triplet is on beat four again, so there's a little, there's, there's, there's an open high G before that, and then a pull. bass. Okay, so I'm just going to go from, uh, th through that again, I'm just going to go from the um, the, the, the open notes, um, which are on beat three, the open string notes, and then into that final phrase. So we'll go one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Beat one, one. starts again so um, uh, that that's all quite varied and potentially quite difficult so uh, maybe rewind the video um, just just try a phrase at a time if you can just um, sort of loop loop each phrase um, and and then piece it together uh, and, and then basically after that um, that's um, that's the start of beat um, bar five starts again basically um, so it, it's, it's kind of like a sort of four bar phrase just with an extra one there's a little gap and then it's round again uh, so yeah I would come back to this play along uh, when you've learned all of that but let's do the play along and um, uh, we'll bring the tab up on the screen as well uh, so you can kind of see what's going on as well as hear, hear what's going on uh, but I'll, I'll just demo it first and then keep going and you can see the tab so uh, after beat three so one, two, three. One, two, three. And four, and four. Two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, open. Start again. Three. One, two, three. And four, and four. Two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, open. Three. Time two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and two, two, three, and four, one, two, three. So I think that's about it. Um, I hope that's uh, doable for you. I hope it's not too tricky. Uh, great, great sounding, you know, sort of nice slow-paced blues tune. Um, so. 
you like this lesson, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, there, there are lots of lots more cigar box guitar lessons amongst other like guitar and piano lessons and what have you. But um, we're going to be dropping loads more uh, over the next few weeks. So uh, if you subscribe, keep a keep a lookout for those. We're going to do a few more blues tunes, uh, a few more general, you know, sort of tuition, and uh, probably a few arrangements of like well-known tracks for three-string, four-string cigar box guitar. So, hope you enjoyed the lesson, and we look forward to seeing you here again soon on Coda Guitar.